Hi, as the title says, I'll be building bot using Python that will be implemented in a type racing website. In this video, I'll be using PyCharm and using Selenium module. So first, I will create a new project and name it as type racing. So while we are waiting for PyCharm to create our project, we will inspect the website that we want to run the bot. First, we want to make our bot to be able to click this button which is enter a typing race. Actually, they have shortcut for that which is control, alternate and I. At first, I think I want to use that uh, shortcut but I'm not clever enough to use that. Then I'll just use this attribute which is title and I will take the value out. By the way, the weird thing that I write inside the search bar is actually xpath which is it make our work easier to find an xml element inside a web page. And then I will install a selenium module in my project which is using pip install. In this project, I'm using Chrome driver, not browser, driver because uh, we need to use driver instead of browser to use Selenium. So we need to put the location of our web driver before we can use it. After that, we need to get the website URL. And when we try to run it, it works. Now we need to click the button. Actually, while I'm doing this project, I'm still doing my WhatsApp automation project and it is really difficult to do that. That's why I put it on hold and do this video. So when I run the code, I forgot to put try exception in this code uh, that's why it shows error. Because they don't detect the element yet, that's why they show error. For some reason, the bot cannot click the link, I don't know why, that's why I need to tweak something in this code. And it works, they have entered the race. Now we need to do some web scrapping that allow us to read whatever the text they give to us and we just need to make the bot to rewrite the text that was given the text that was given to us actually separated into three things the first one is the first character of the text the second one is the first word but except the first character of the text and the third one is the whole 
paragraph that they give to us. So I need to find the XPath that will allow our bot to read the data, read the text from the website. After run the code for few times, I realized that I've made a big mistake, which is we are not reading any text. We are reading nothing. That's why the bot didn't write anything in the box. And the reason for that, actually, the website is generating the attribute, which is class, dynamically, not statically. Because the XPath that I have created is referring to a specific class. And then I changed the way how we locate the text. For some weird reason, we need to click somewhere else before we start writing and we just need to find two tags instead of three tags. And I made a mistake. The bot is clicking on the advertisement on the left side because in my web browser, I have ad block so they don't appear there. And now I need to find somewhere else that really empty for me to click. First, I try to turn off my ad block, but the website is really slow because it has a lot of ads. Then I turn it on back. And I've decided to use the navigation bar at the top of the website to be the place that we will click before we type something. And now the bot write something weird, which is it is definitely not the text that was given to us. And then I realized that I have put the wrong X path, which is the X path is not referring to the text, it is referring to the attribute itself, the value of attribute. After a little Google search and experiment, now we are ready to go. So this time, the mistake that I've made is we don't put a space to separate these two tags, which is the first tag and the whole tag. And now this is the final result of our project, but it takes really long to load because of the advertisement they have a lot of advertisement there
and this is the result of our project. Now they send us a weird message here. I guess you guys can read it by yourself because I don't want to read it, it is too long. And it's actually a message that they are adopting us because we type really fast, they don't believe us. And yes, we are not typing because we are using bot. That's why they show this message to us. And actually I've been banned after using this bot for a few times. Actually it is not a permanent ban, it's just some kind of they are banning our IP address or something like that. And I hope you guys happy with this video because after this I will make an automation for WhatsApp. It will take a long time for me to do that because WhatsApp is uh, really complicated because WhatsApp used for private messaging and the protection is kind of high and I need to scan my QR code every time I run the bot it's really cumbersome so um, feel free to subscribe or press like button or dislike button whatever you guys like or comment what you guys want and see you next time